Good morning, happy Friday, and welcome to my morning routine. Very, very realistic morning routine. Hey y'all, this is about as real as it's gonna get. Welcome to my channel if you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. I know I look crusty, and I know I look dusty, <laughs> but it's the morning, so I literally just woke up. It is 9.16, so I just woke up. Still in the bed, haven't got out the bed, haven't even brushed my teeth, which that for me is huge because I don't open my mouth. I usually don't talk <laughs> until I brush my teeth. So I just think it's disrespectful to talk and stuff before you brush your teeth. Anywho, I wanted to do like a realistic pregnancy morning routine. If you are new, I am today 37 weeks pregnant. So yeah, so this will be more of like a vlog style. First things first, I'm about to get up. I haven't even been up out of the bed yet. I honestly, if I laid here a little bit longer, I would probably go back to sleep just because it looks like it's gloomy out today again. And I have my body pillow. I'm cozy, but I actually feel rested, so I'm going to go ahead and get up. I will see y'all in a little bit because this ain't it. This is not it. <laughs> All right. That is much better. Hopefully y'all got the gist of what's going on. We feel much better. Teeth are brushed. Fresh breath. I went ahead and <clears throat> got dressed because I'm not going to the gym, but I am going walking. So I am 37 weeks today. So if you know, you know what's going on. <laughs> it is time to start doing things to get baby boy out of here. Yeah, uh, my doctor really suggested walking. I'm at the place where I'm just like, wow. My toast and my coffee is done at the same time. That's a record anyways I'm at the place where um I just know that he's gonna come when he's ready he's gonna come when God tells him to go <laughs> me and my mom are gonna head out in a little bit and actually go meet at the park and probably walk for a little bit so I wanted to show you guys this is typically what my house looks like in the morning this is a very realistic visual of what my house looks like so well let me start with the kitchen so y'all don't judge me so the kitchen is usually clean I have gotten a really really good habit the past few months of cleaning the kitchen after dinner then you wake up to a nice clean fresh kitchen you know so whenever it's time for breakfast and stuff you're not having to clean pots and pans so that is definitely a good habit that's actually a tip my mom um put me on and it actually does help living room is clean ish this is typically what our couch looks like in the morning because me and brian watch you know tv shows and movies and stuff um before we go to bed so when it's time to go to bed at like 11 30 12 we just kind of throw the throws all over the place so typically if i'm not like in a rush or anything i do kind of like judge up the couch fold the throws fluff the pillows and make it look nice for the next couple hours until like we go back and sit on the couch but i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick there we go, much better. Now, realistically, it is not gonna stay like this because we sit out here and we take naps and we just kind of lounge around. So by the end of the night, my couch does not look like this. And then I open up the blinds, which I love natural lighting. I feel like that's one thing I just kind of picked up on whenever <laughs> I lived with my parents um, growing up because I feel like the first thing they did whenever they went downstairs was open up the blinds. So I feel like I naturally just kind of like picked up that habit. So I do typically open up my blinds and I love that our apartment is like in the back. So there's nothing but like trees back there. So I can sit with my blinds open and not have to worry about anyone peeking through or anything like that. So yeah, moving along. All right, so now 
I'm gonna grab a little snack before we go walk. I usually like to have a snack or a little bit of coffee before um, I work out. And I usually like sit and read my Bible or pray and something or something like that while I have a snack. I'm not that hungry, but I do need something. So I just put a half a piece of toast in the toaster oven and I'm just gonna put some peanut butter on it. I also went ahead and made some coffee, which I will sip on a little, 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 little bit, just because I just love the warm sensation of coffee <laughs> first thing in the morning. And I am not gonna drink this whole cup right now. So what I typically do because, because I like iced coffee, so I typically brew just like a regular small size coffee. Take a couple of sips, literally like maybe two or three sips. I'll put the rest of this in the refrigerator while I work out. When I come back, then I pour it over ice, then you have iced coffee for the day. To me, it makes sense because it's like, I know I'm not gonna drink all of this right now. And whenever I get back from working out, it's gonna be cold anyway, so just pour it over ice, make it iced. That's just my thought process. Being here alone, I think about a lot, so. And that is just so soothing to the soul. So I'm actually about to sit here, eat my little snack, and take my little two sips of coffee. This is usually the time whenever I read my Bible and pray. Now, disclaimer, I don't do this every day. And I don't always do this first thing in the morning, too. So I kind of have taken off the pressure for myself of having to do it every single day morning first thing just because i feel like that just starts to feel really routine-ish i mean i'm not against it don't get me wrong i'm not knocking it at all like whatsoever i'm kind of getting to a place where i understand and i see god as like a very he's very very constant god is everywhere i feel like as believers sometimes you put too much pressure on structure whenever it comes to like reading our bible and stuff like that god isn't like routine you know he's like relationship and so he wants us to experience him throughout the entire day not just like first thing in the morning or right before we go to sleep now granted um those are good times to do it because like first thing you don't have a lot going on like for me it's nice and quiet in my home first thing in the morning but I also know that when Micah's here that's gonna change that to me is what makes the relationship with God so beautiful is that he literally can meet us anywhere at any time um, whether it's for two minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. So I just feel like for me, I don't know about you guys, but I used to pressure myself so much and I used to like really get on myself if I didn't wake up and read my Bible first thing, or if I said I was going to do it and I didn't do it, it's okay. You know, it's okay. Grace yourself. God has grace for us and he understands. Anyway, I'm about to sit here, like I said before eat my snack that has now become kind of cold and crusty <laughs> thanks for hanging with me at the moment and you guys will probably see me whenever i get to the park to walk so it's patient it's kind get a trap and i can't find Alrighty, friends we made it i don't think i said where i was going to walk i don't know anyways i'm at the park i'm waiting for my mom i just want to say first things first praise the lord for this overcast. I would not be out here if it was sunny. Just the way Georgia heat is set up this year, I feel like we're on punishment or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's only 80 degrees. And so it's a really, really nice day to get some fresh air. It's a really nice day to try to go into labor. <laughs> when I was on my way here, I was literally thinking, I will one day be in labor and I one day have to push out a whole baby. <laughs> But it's all good, I can do it, I'm gonna do it. And I was made for this, so. And there's my mother, pulling up next to me. <laughs> Hey 
guys, so I'm home, freshen up. So I'm home and ready to go. <laughs> Actually, we're not ready to do anything until we eat. So it's 12.39, I haven't ate, I'm so hungry. Um, but I did have a good walk with my mom. Did two miles, walked for like 45 minutes. So we're gonna continue our morning routine that has actually turned into an afternoon routine. Finally, something to eat. But usually it's something breakfasty like turkey bacon, eggs. If y'all have been watching my vlogs, y'all know I eat a lot of eggs. I'm gonna make myself an egg omelet. Right now I'm just cooking some olives, onion. I'm gonna throw the rest of this spinach in there, so. And then I have some turkey sausage in the works in my air fryer. you guys so that concludes my morning yeah so i'm about to eat my breakfast today is friday um and it's actually almost one o'clock so i have a couple errands to run um tomorrow is mine and brian's five-year anniversary so that's exciting um he'll be off in like a couple hours so i'm gonna eat my breakfast run some errands and that is all hope you guys enjoyed my very hopefully it was pretty realistic morning routine every day is different to be quite honest just depends on how i feel depends on what we got going on so anywho i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna eat because i'm starving and i will talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed if you did comment like and definitely subscribe and i will see y'all later in the next video bye